going on, everybody? I just caught back from seeing The World's End. My review for that will be up very, very soon. But until then, I want to talk about something that has gotten so much controversy in only just one day. One day. And it's probably the biggest casting news of the year. A month ago at Comic-Con, they announced that the follow-up to Man of Steel will be a Batman-Superman crossover movie. And ever since then, people have been speculating, oh, who's going to be Batman? Who's going to be Batman? Some of the front runners were Josh Brolin and apparently that guy from Teen Wolf. Not the main guy, just a, another cast member on that, which would have made a horrible, horrible Batman. I guarantee it. I wouldn't have... I've never seen the show, but I'm pretty sure the acting isn't that great. So, yeah. And now, just yesterday, actually, they announced that... Ben Affleck is going to be the next actor to take on the cape and cowl as Batman. I mean, it generally got mixed reactions, just from my eyes, but now I can tell, for the most part, a lot of people don't like what they hear. Why do I say that? Apparently there's a petition going around to prevent Ben Affleck from being Batman in the next Man of Steel movie. Now let me put something in perspective for you. The two main political parties of our country, Republican and Democrat, still don't get along, and Egypt is on the brink of destroying themselves, and yet people are starting to protest and petition to not have Ben Affleck be Batman. Wake up, people! There's more to life than just, you know, comic books and superheroes. There's more to life than that. To me, this is basically just Michael Keaton all over again. Remember that? A lot of people back in the 80s really didn't want Michael Keaton to be Batman. Because it's like, what, Mr. Mom? No! But then, the movie was released. And people loved him. Do keep in mind, I think he did a movie a year prior to the first Batman called Clean and Sober. And he was really good in that. So, they should have seen it coming. And I keep hearing things like, oh, he's going to phone his performance in. It's going to be like Pearl Harbor and Armageddon. He's going to phone in his performance. It's going to be like Daredevil. He wouldn't care about it. And to that, I point you into the direction of a movie that he made back in 06 called Hollywood Land, in which... He portrayed George Reeves, most famous for playing Superman in the 1950s Superman show on television. He was really good in that. He really was. And that really shifted his career back into being good again. And he's definitely proven that he's a better actor now. Not just with his own films like Argo and The Town, but also films like State of Play. He's gotten better. He's learned from his mistakes and he's going to do better. I know he is. In fact, I actually kind of predicted that he was going to be Batman. If you can recall back in one of my Many Subjects videos, I talked about a rumor that Ben Affleck was going to be offered the chance to direct Justice League. And if so, he would have a role in the film, acting-wise, of his choosing. And I thought, if that were the case, he would probably play Batman. So, in a way... I kind of predicted that he was going to be Batman. And I was right. He is going to be Batman. I mean, I could definitely see him playing off the whole Bruce Wayne half, but the Batman half gets me intrigued. Like, I want to see what he could do with that. I, I have faith in him. I do. He's gotten better. He has. For those who don't believe me, watch Argo and the town. Not only was he, was he good directing-wise in that, but he was a good actor in it. He, he pulled off some really good performances. I genuinely think that he's going to do a good job. And as I commented on schmoesno.com, before everyone gets their bat underoos in a bunch, take it with a grain of salt and see how it goes. I mean, me personally, I would have preferred Josh Brolin, but I'm okay with this. I really am. I want to see how this goes. So what do you think? If Ben Affleck wasn't cast as Batman, who would you cast? And now that they have cast him, do you think he would pull it off? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, 
If you like what you saw here, then feel free to press the like button, add this video to your favorites, and maybe even subscribe if you want. And stay tuned for my review of The World's End, which will be up very, very soon. So until next time, this is Mark Aquino saying, I believe in Ben Affleck as Batman. And you should too.